Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, let me just start by saying, if anyone has any recommendations for good backpacks or good bags to take to work, please let me know because I'm really struggling out here. So I would love to know if you guys have any recommendations. Anyways, today we are heading on to campus. I go into work once a week, the other four days I work from home. I actually really love going into work, like just once a week. It's like nice to just change up my environment. Also, I must say that every single time I get off the train and I get to work, I feel like unnecessarily productive just because I've like responded to emails that I've been putting off all week or like I've cleaned up some code that I wrote really badly in the week because I was in a rush. So yeah, we love that. I often get asked to speak specifically about the data that I work on and what it is that I actually do every single day, especially now that I have a new job. So for those who don't know my new job, I am still a bioinformatician and I'm still working on epigenetics. I'm specifically focusing on a neurodegenerative disorder called ALS. And I'm not gonna lie, I've literally already adopted like 20 different projects because there's so many cool things that I can do with this data. But essentially I'm trying to develop biomarkers or risk scores for predicting or looking at progression of disease or even just trying to figure out what might cause the disease so whilst I can't show you guys most of what I do I can show you this so this morning I was literally just writing some code to just produce a bunch of plots that I wanted to make I was making some Manhattan plots I was doing some principal components analysis and all of that fun stuff so I literally spent probably two to three hours on this I also did like half an hour of my Julia programming course, which is a new programming language that I'm trying to learn. And then, I'm not gonna lie, I decided I needed a bubble tea. So now I need to head back to campus because I have a weekly meeting to attend to which is a bioinformatics meeting where essentially just someone from the group presents their work and gives an update on it and people can ask questions or give advice on anything that they need help with. I'm not gonna lie, I actually find them really useful and today's one was really interesting, it was about Alzheimer's disease. Anyways, literally as I was filming today, someone literally asked to see what my desk looked like at work. So I thought I would quickly pop back to the office and show you because I needed to come back here anyway for an hour or so before my train. But home. as you can see, it is really empty and messy. I feel like you guys were expecting it to look half decent because obviously I love my setup at home, but I just haven't done anything with my desk in the office yet. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. But for now, I am literally just going to practice some coding and then I'll head home in about an hour or so. So for those of you who have been around for a long time, this is literally what my setup's second setup looks like. I still literally haven't done it, um, but I am actually getting a new chair for my desk downstairs. So I'm gonna put a new chair up here. And I think I'm gonna turn this into a vanity area rather than a desk because honestly, I just don't use it. And I just feel like a vanity area will be something that I'll actually use. So yeah. I also wanna show you this snow globe that I got. I actually got this from Thailand. 
and here's some roses that my boyfriend got me but they are dying now a little bit anyways bedding let's go i know you guys are literally thinking that my hello kitty obsession is getting out of control and you are right because i even have hello kitty scissors <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, like it actually kind of feels a bit weird. I don't know if I'm gonna like this when it's on, but let's put it on anyway. Once I was finished procrastinating, I then basically just wrote down some tasks that I needed to do that day. Sometimes I like to do this on my Notion to-do list as you guys have seen me do before, but today I was just writing it in my diary. I kind of flicked between the two, so I was just doing that. Then I was basically just doing some time blocking, so just writing out what I was gonna be doing each hour of the day, so I had a structure to follow because otherwise I just don't do what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah having said that i'm literally a liar because in the next clip i'm literally doing something that i didn't write down to do which was i just randomly started like organizing my links and updating things on it because honestly i couldn't be bothered to start with work yet and yeah i literally don't have any excuse for this but here we go this is what i'm doing i'm organizing my links So here's an overview of what it looks like now. I'm gonna pop the link in the description. It's always in the description anyway. This is literally where I have the links to everything that you could possibly want from me, I hope. So yeah, go and check it out. And if I'm missing something in there, let me know and I will procrastinate more by adding it in for you. <sighs> I feel like I've done a decent amount this morning. I'm like a little bit through my corrections on my PhD, but honestly, they're not actually urgent. Let's have a look at what else I've got in here. I've got to complete half of my paper. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on for this afternoon. But first, basically, I'm absolutely starving um, and I have zero food here. So I think I'm going to pop to the shop quickly. Take you with me, go get something to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> literally not had breakfast today uh which is unlike me i normally eat a shit ton of food
guys, I'm now back at my desk. I'm gonna eat my ice cream. This is the Mocky ice cream that I was telling you about. I'm not gonna lie, they're not normally this squishy. <laughs> I, uh, I left it out the freezer a little bit too long. That ice cream. <laughs> do you ever come to do some work and you just think, oh, I really don't wanna do this. Like, I genuinely don't even care about this piece of work. So it seriously makes doing it like 10 times harder because this is literally my life right now. Like, I need to do all of these things. And I'm not gonna lie, I just can't be bothered. I don't wanna do them.